The San Denis Police Department is the sole law enforcement agency within the city of San Denis, perhaps most identifiable by the blue uniforms that they all wear. They can often be seen dotted about the city standing guard, presumably with the primary presence to protect and keep order in the city, something that for the most part they actually do because if you cause a ruckus they crack down on that stuff really quickly and there appear to be endless ranks of them, which is kind of annoying when you've just nicked a loaf of bread and suddenly the blue plods want you dead, but I think it's safe to say that the San Denis Police Department is an effective model. So that brings me to the topic of today's video. What if there was a police officer in Saint Denis who appeared to be something more of a bully character, one that demonstrates a use of excessive force? This is of course something backed up by an encounter we can have in the city of Saint Denis. Now I get this encounter every single time I'm in the city without fail, which is unusual as usually most encounters are a one and done situation, maybe they'll happen a couple of times, but for me this one keeps happening. The encounter goes as follows. I hear you. Now the law will take care of it. That's how a lawman solves a problem. What the hell happened? Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. You just go around beating the tar out of anyone you please? You really want to mess with me? We find a police officer trying to chase down some man, and when he tries to escape over a wall, the police officer pulls him down and knocks him out against the ground. If you aim your gun and hover the cursor over the body of this man, you can tell that he's still alive. However, realistically, what are the chances that he's ever going to wake up again after that? He's probably a vegetable now. Of course, our naughty Bobby then walks off with the fella, carrying him over his shoulder. Of course, if you antagonize the officer, he will threaten you, and if you antagonize him again, he will attack you and then you will become wanted. After knocking his daylights out just like he did to this regular citizen who probably did commit a crime but was in no position to need to be knocked out, you will find nothing on his body that's actually unique so there's nothing that suggests that he might be corrupt or anything, it just appears as if he likes to abuse his power. He doesn't murder the guy as some people have stated that he does because this man is still alive, technically speaking. When he carries the guy off though, you'd think he'd be taking him back to the police station, however, he just carries him nowhere in particular, but winds up at this spot and just stops. I don't think there's any reason behind this, the game just doesn't expect you to follow him for that long. But I find it kind of funny that he just carries him off and stands here, <laughs> flexing his shoulders of steel. Now what I find really fascinating is the amount of times I've actually had this encounter, is he doing this with different people every single time, or is it just the same encounter on repeat for some reason? I mean, obviously it is, I just think it's funny to imagine that he just gets about knocking people out just because. But as different variations of dialogue might imply that this happens several times. But in every encounter, I'm not sure if it's quite the same, but the officer seems to have a similar voice. See what you get when you cross me? Stop right now! Hey. Law That's how a lawman solves a problem. Different encounters, same sounding guy. There is also another encounter, and though I don't know if it's the exact same voice, it is very similar. You ain't gonna walk out of this town alive. You thought you could beat the law, huh? Damn fine job bringing that one in. So is this one guy whose voice pitch seems to change in every encounter ever so slightly but still sounds similar? Or does the San Denis Police Department have a brutality problem? Maybe the San Denis Fed are just assholes, God knows. In the end of the day, it's just a fun little encounter, and it's further proof that Rockstar Games can make even the most minimal of things seem like they have a story behind them. As when it comes to encounters like that, no other game would make me necessarily think twice about it. It's not the strongest example of Rockstar's depth in world building, sure, but if it wasn't for those strong examples, I'd have never looked for this. As a further point that might suggest that the Saint Denis Police Department is corrupt, it is suggested that Benjamin Lambert, the police chief, was forcefully bribed by Guido Martelli in 1907 to ignore that gang's crimes. So could the police be this harsh as a result of that corruption? Or could it be completely unrelated? Could it be a look busy situation? They can't crack down on the actual crime in the city, so instead 
they're this harsh on the general population. As before Guido Martelli in 1907, there was Angelo Bronte in 1899, who also found himself in a spot of immunity, and to touch down on it all, the mayor of the city itself is also corrupt, who has you use similar intimidation tactics to what the cops appear to be using in order to consolidate his control over the city as well as ensure its reputation is maintained. So maybe the Saint Denis Police Department is just doing a similar thing. All I know is it would appear as if the Saint Denis Police Department is in fact corrupt. Anyway, let's conclude this video before it gets far too long for its own good. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be really appreciated. And I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.